Okay, so uh, we're going to finish up uh, on our Reese's exploration. Um, you know, uh, let's just recap that we had all these products. We started out knowing uh, what half of a peanut butter product uh, had, in, uh, what half of the, one of these products had in terms of peanut butter, and we had that in grams. We just multiply that by two to get how much the, uh, the whole product would have in grams. We use the conversions to convert the grams to ounces. We just multiplied that by two to get, this was what half a product would have in terms of ounces. We multiplied that by two to get what a whole product would have. Uh, the total amount of ounces uh, was actually the full peanut butter plus the full chocolate. And we, you know, we had full chocolate in ounces, then it was uh, plus the full peanut butter in ounces, and that would give us this. So anyway, we added that up. Um, you know, ounces and grams we converted. Um, okay, so we got to this part with uh, how much of uh, a whole, what, what, how much was all the chocolate. Well, if we know what all the chocolate is, and we know what all the peanut butter is, full chocolate to full peanut butter, we can create a ratio, peanut butter to chocolate. So that's a formula. So we're going to say equal sign and peanut butter. It doesn't matter really whether we use ounces or grams. Um, so full peanut butter ounces. We'll go, we'll go with ounces. Um, and there's that cell. That's the in a king. The amount of ounces in a whole thing would be 0.3844, so that was E2, call me row 2. And to get this ratio, we're going to divide. That is a slash, okay? That slash is right underneath the question mark sign, just so that you get the right one. And the, the ratio of peanut butter to chocolate, remember we used ounces, so we're going to want all the chocolate in ounces. That's this cell, click, and it puts it there, H2. And it's going to give us a fraction. So um, because there's more peanut butter than chocolate, the ratio is going to be greater than one. Um, and if you want to double check and make sure you're doing that right, you, if you get a number that's greater than one, it should show you that the amount of chocolate is less than the peanut butter. And in this case, it was, that's right. Uh, 0.38 in peanut butter is more than 0.31 in chocolate. Uh, so now we can just pull that down and get ratios for, of peanut butter to chocolate for all this stuff. Um, chocolate to peanut butter is just the opposite. Same thing, equal sign. Chocolate comes first. Uh, let's do grams, and let's see how close these are. Um, grams is I2, full check chocolate grams. Where's the full peanut butter grams? Right here, 10.9. Oops, and it didn't let me do this, so it's going to be the slash right under the question mark sign, and then, uh-oh, okay, so I, I messed up. Let's go back. All right, so it was going to be, I said full chocolate grams divided by full peanut butter grams. And it should be less than uh, one. If this ratio is greater than one, this ratio should be smaller, and it was. So now, again, I'm going to put my cursor over this, make the plus sign, click, drag, and ah, we can't do this one here. Not sure we can do the other one either, but we'll leave that. Uh, okay, um, weights of outer shell we are going to ignore. Just gonna fill that with some gray so you know we're not doing that. Um, peanut butter percentage. Now remember, percentages are different from uh, ratios. This is not the amount of peanut butter compared to chocolate, but the amount of peanut butter compared to the whole thing. This is gonna be a little bit more complicated formula. So we're gonna say equal sign, and we're gonna want to divide the amount of peanut butter by the total. So where's full peanut butter? Right here. Okay, now we're going to say divided by, well, what's the total? The total is not just the chocolate. Where's our full chocolate? And yeah, we're in ounces. So it is the chocolate, but it's not just the chocolate. It's the chocolate plus all the peanut butter. So we're dividing the peanut butter 
over the total. We could have done the total um, ounces, but I decided to, you know, to let you think about it this way. The peanut butter and the chocolate makes up the total. So what was that? I have H2 and E2. And close parentheses. And uh, let's, uh, this is a percentage. So we will select this. In fact, we'll select, well, let's drag this down and get all these percentages, first of all. And um, then let's go and grab all these. I highlight them all, and I'm going to say Format, and go down to Format Cells at the bottom. And one of the choices is Percentage. We can choose how many decimal places to have in our percentage. And there are all our numbers. Just for fun, let's do something real quick and just see. So remember, this formula was E2, the amount of peanut butter, divided by the peanut butter plus the chocolate, because the peanut butter plus the chocolate gives us the total. Well, we have a total. This is the total. Let's see if this would work and get the same thing. We're going to divide all the peanut butter in ounces, E2 divided by the total. And let's drag that down. And let's, uh, now let's format, format cells, go to percentage, two percentage points. Let's see if they are identical. 54.93, 54.93, 44.44, 44.44. Sure enough, they are. So that's it. That's the whole thing.